Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of real-world ratios and rates. This is standard 6.4b in the great state of Texas, and we're using item number 32, which is a new item type called drag and drop, of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a store here. We have a ratio of limes to lemons, and we need to drag and drop the correct answer to the box. Obviously not all answers will be used. There are six choices here, right? And we just have the second one that we need to fill in, but if we try to leave this with just one of the answers done, it will give us an uh, error message. All right, so this is a two-point problem, one for each correct answer. So let's figure this out. What do we have here? We've got this first sentence is going to be extremely important. The ratio of the order they tell you is going to be extremely important. Number of limes sold to the number of lemons. Okay, so we're just going to say limes to lemons. We have to get that order very correct because if we reverse them, we put the lemons on top, you know, it's going to mess things up, okay? It's two to three. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep my labels there. Two limes to three lemons. All right, so that's my ratio here. For every two limes, you're selling three lemons with slightly more lemons. And then we just have this table here. So what we need to do is we need to find, you know, how this ratio applies to if I sell 24 limes, right? Or if there were 108 lemons sold. Because this is the only ratio that we have that's complete, right? And we can verify, right, that it should be equal to this 42 limes to 63 lemons. Now, the numbers are kind of big. What we're thinking is we need to make an equivalent fraction, right? So what are we multiplying by? 2 times what gets you into 42? If you don't know off the top of your head, you can always divide, but it's going to be 21, right? Now, for this to be an equivalent fraction, the denominator needs to be multiplied by 21 as well. Does 3 times 21 make 63? Absolutely it does. So that's why it works. It's a ratio that's constant. So we need to do the same thing for... Let's do it first for this top one. Two limes, three lemons. All right, we're going to multiply it by some type of equivalent fraction. And it's going to get us 24 limes. And then our unknown number of lemons. Okay, so we need to be thinking two times what gets us to 24. Well, that should be a basic fact that we have memorized, right? 2 times 12 makes 24. So in order for it to be an equivalent fraction, we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same thing, 12 over 12. So what's 3 times 12? Well, that's 36. And 24 over 36 reduces or simplifies down to 2 thirds. So that's my first answer, 36. So let's go ahead and put that in there. There we go. All right, so we've got our 36. That was the easy one. Now we're going to do a little bit more work to get down to this one right here. Okay, so let's check this one out. Once again, we're going to have our basic ratio that they gave us, two limes to three lemons. We're going to multiply it by something. It's going to be a fraction equal to one, right? To make an equivalent fraction, I don't know how many limes we have. That's what we're looking for. But I do know that we have 108 lemons. Now, 3 times something makes 108. I don't know what that is. But I can divide. All right, so that's going to be 3. And that's going to be 18. So 6, okay? So 36. So I just need to double 36. To get my number of limes, right, 36 and 36, that's going to make 72. And that is my second answer, and that's how we get both points on this problem.